Isit lang ha, kaya okay na. So, this is for your personnel, police personnel and records management. So, first, police management and administration. Management, this pertains to the utilization of available resources in an organization. Next is your administration. This refers to the processes used in management. Next is goals. Goals is defined as the broad statements of general and long-term organizational purposes often used to define the role of the police. For instance, usually these are the roles of our law enforcers or the police. First is to prevent crimes and then maintain order or help solve community problems. So, in some language, usual na tong mahibalad pag police, wana mayuta nga to serve and protect, to serve the community and prevent crimes from happening, and then prevent objects, serve and protect. Kung mo kinapay mo sulod. Ako mo ni siyang gi kuan with lang. Kasi ito lang ha. Kay napay mo. Atin ako speakers na ko i- accept para dili na ma utol ato ang discussion Sorry for the um, interruption. Siki Padayunta. So next is uh, to continue objectives are defined or are the specific short-term statements consistent with the organization's goal. Next is the police productivity and managerial performance. Productivity means the summary of measures of the quantity and the quality of police work performance achieved. When we say quantity, unsa man ang quantity, guys? What is quantity? Kadaghan ng numbers, ma'am, number. Yes, yes, correct. Um, quantity is ang gidaghanon. So, what is quality?
unsa ang quality any kan usay ganang atuang kuan sa ato pang atuang own sa tong kada kita mabili saya unsa ang quality klase ma'am klase klase ba klase klase or ang kalidad sa ang kalidad sa pulis o ang kalidad sa law enforcer sa ilang pag perform o sa ilang ilang performance nga ang ay i-achieve then with a resource utilization considered as well. Good police managers establish and support the conditions needed to ensure high productivity for themselves, for individual contributors, for their work units, and for the organization as whole. Now, um, dili magyud na to bag o nga ang atong mga law enforcers or sa PNP naghan kaayo nga kanang mga issue murag halos pagkahilom sa usa na anapoy na anapoy lain nga issue na ay mga pulis nga na ay mga pulis nga sa jutera hinon jutera nga persinto nga nagpabuyagamay dayon na apoy but majority of our policemen are daghan sila nga na contribute nga kaayuhan sa ato ang nasod for example um di ba kasagaran man god nga ay kana siya kay policeman na siya ato manggong gi-judge ang organization as a whole even though usa or duha tulo duta rin na pabuyag usually mang god ang ato juda yung i-judge ang organization man god but buto na hunaon il ang usa rin na pabuyag usa rin na pabuyag pero atong i-judge ang tibuo organization yeah buto na hunaon usa rin na bali duta rin very few ragyon ang nagpapuyag. Then, um, usually, ang productivity board ma naman din nga, needed to ensure high productivity for themselves, for individual contributors, and for their work units. For their work units, when we say work, work units, kung asa sila na-assign, Usually, ang performance mong good sa Osaka Police maka-affect yun na sa asa siya and the organization as well. Then, this involves a commitment to the accomplishment of two different but complementary. Lahit-lahi sila, pero they will be uh, bali. They are, they, lahit-lahi sila, but, but they are in relationship with one another. First is the police effectiveness. Police effectiveness measures whether or not important task goals are being attained. So, even um, in the future, makita ni mo ang effectiveness or ang usa matawag na siya ang effective ang usak organization when ma-achieve nila ang ilahang giset nga goals. Next is the police efficiency which measures how well the resources are being utilized. So, moto siya nga. Lahit man ang effectiveness o ang efficiency but still they are related from one another. Effectiveness kung unsa ka epektibo nga naatin pa nila ang ilang gasgiset na goals. The next, ang efficiency o giunsa nila paggamit ang ilahang available nga resources to achieve the goals being set nila. 
So, na-delay that in the performance effectiveness plus the efficiency is equal to high performance. So, ano na na siya? Kung um, effective ta, kaya na to nga ma-achieve ang ato ang goals with uh, proper usage of the available resources ato gid siya nga utilize of course high ang ato ang performance next will be the management police management processes the police manage of uh, the management processes involves planning organizing leading and controlling when we say planning planning is the process of setting performance objectives and identifying the action needed to accomplish them in other words na ay plano nag set ka og objectives o identify ni mo og unsay mga angay nga buhaton para ma-achieve nato ang ato ang objective pa ma achieve nato ang ato ang goal next is organizing organizing is the process of dividing the work to be done and coordinating results to achieve desired purpose dili jud siya necessary nga namang gutay uban i know i know most of you kabalo nga naju usahay nga kana sulohon ang trabaho then at the end ma fail ma appeal task ka ma high but no kinahanglan siya nga ang trabaho pahin pahin nun. like for example pariyasal di ba sa tuwang aris search or natay mga research di ba ang research na to kay kuan man kanang by group hindi man jud necessary nga si leader lang ang mo himo sa research na mag tay part or na jud tay role anak nga research mo contribute gyud ta mo hatag gyud ta sa ato ang tapang then as the leader mo nang pahin-pahinon like for example o oh, ikaw kuan sinil sinil atong pa himuon ani then kani na pud usa ato po ni Shani so an so gi organize ta siya para ma-push na ang inyo nga goal. Next is leading. Leading is the process of directing and coordinating the work efforts of other people to help them accomplish important tasks. So, mauna ni si leader. Si leader ang mag-direct ug mag coordinate kung unsa may angay nga buhaton. Da sab time. Yes, ma'am. Okay, next is controlling. Controlling is the process of monitoring performance, comparing results to objectives and taking corrective action as necessary. So, when we say controlling, hindi mo siya necessary nga gi-control or ka nang siya na siya magpuot-puot. But, gi-monitor at gi-check ang inyong performance or ang inyong nga gipang buhat. Trying to compare o kung sa actual nga gibuhat sa gi-set nga objective. Kung nakigamay nga ang ay usbon mo na na ay or taking corrective action kung kinahanglan kung na ay gamay nga sipya usbon okay next is the managerial activities and roles first is for inter there are three types of roles first is interpersonal informational roles and decisional roles 
Tinder personal roles, guys. Magis ko ta kabahin ana. Um, mini interpersonal roles working directly with other people. When we say figurehead, when na siya ko ay kinel. Figurehead is hosting and attending official ceremony. Kanang when we say nai talato si leader. Siya mo yung more representative nato. Siya mo yung more represent nato in um na mga official ceremonies or na pa yung mga seminars. Then siya mo attend ana. Then pagpalik yan na sa nang eko nato mga mga kaupan nato or na yung mga member. Next is leadership. Creating enthusiasm and serving people's needs. So, siya yun na nga ma. Drive na to. Iya yun na. Iya yun tang i. Inspire. O ma-insure yun niya nga. Ang iya hang mga kinanglan or yung iya kinanglan. At tong kinahanglan na ito yung mga pangutanan niya iya nang matuba at or naabala niya na ba tayo mga ginagbay mga pangutana or na po siya ideas iya po na ma-share sa ato ang next is a liaison maintaining contacts with important people and groups si liaison po siya po nang like not na ay kuan kaya na natay la in contact with other groups or other people other organizations siya mo ay atong way nga mo contact siya sa la in next is informational roles first is when you say monitor si monitor seeking out relevant information When we say seeking out siya mo'y mangita o mga information relevant sa ato ang organization. Next is si disseminator. Disseminator is the one who shares information with insiders. Si disseminator guys, kung bali, kung sa ato a or sa atong organization or sa ato nga klase siya mo'y gihatagan o katungod nga mo share sa information gikan ni monitor siya mo'y mo istorya nga for example ng mga um, tol, bay ana, siya mo'y money bago nga information nga nagather uh, relevant information na to Then, si spokesperson, siya po nang mo-share of information with the outsiders. If ever na ay mga information, gikan sa itong organization, unya, need na siya ipagawas or i-transmit into other organizations, muna siya ay buhat ni spokesperson. Just like Atorne Harry Roque Nga kung sa'yo mga information Gikan sa presidente Iyan po i-relay sa gawas Or na to Muna ay iyahang trabaho Then third role is The decisional roles First is Entrepreneur By the way Decisional roles make decision That affects other people In Entrepreneurs, entrepreneur is seeking problems to solve and opportunities to explore. So man, tala ka kape na mga ita o problema o. But the truth is, kung ikaw entrepreneur ka, hilig kang mga ita o mga problema or was atara sa isultinga. Hilig kang mo solve o problema mangita solve and then creating opportunities or making opportunities or 
looking for opportunities then explore next is disturbance handler disturbance handler is the one who helps to resolve conflicts so in an organization guys wala your organization na perfect di ba kay kasagaran anak na agud na ginagmay bikil na ginay ginagmay nga conflict next is resource allocator allocate um resource allocator is the one who allocates resources to various uses when we say uh, allocator he is the one who is in charge of using the resources or allocating the resources to proper use next is negotiator negotiator is the one who negotiates with other parties so, okay next Foundations of organization and management. First is the classical approach. For classical approach, scientific management, this is Frederick Taylor. Frederick Taylor was sought to discover the best method of performing specific task based on his studies okay as what you can see that is Frederick Taylor Taylor believes that if workers were taught the best procedures with pay tied to output they would produce the maximum amount of work so according to him nga kita daw tudluan ta sa pinaka the best nga procedure with pay tied to an output of course makita daw ang maximum amount of work or ma-produce na to ang maximum amount of work di ba kung kita mo trabaho makabalot pa og unsay mga pamaagi ma-master na to ang ato mga pamaagi or the best magamit na to ang mga best nga pamaagi na atay nindot nga resulta unya ang nindot nga resulta means usually kung manarbaho ta nindot nga resulta means salary or compensation or pay so with respect to his philosophy, the role of management changed abruptly from earlier use of the rule of the thumb to a more specific approach including scientifically selecting, training, and developing workers and ensuring that all the work would be done in accordance with scientific principles thus the scientific management strongly adhere to the formal organization structures and its rules okay so ato na siyang ila-ilahon kay basin o mang wave na siya pag abot dito sa board exam next is bureaucratic management with max weber this concept of bureaucracy is generally associated with his work who was major contributor to the modern sociology he studied the effect that social change in europe at the end of the 19th century and coined the term bureaucracy to identify the complex organization that operated on a rational basis he also believed that um, such approach was means of lessening cruelty, nepotism, and subjective managerial practices common in the stages of industrial revolution. So, kabalo na magjutag unsay cruelty when we say lahit manggud ng trabaho tanga koan kanang 
na ay kamalo na mo mo kung seker wealthy di ba nga murag makita jud nga grabe na jud kaayo ang pag pasipala di ba the next is nepotism nepotism is a form of favoritism na granted to relatives so mga pasuod pasuod according to him that ila kung malasen na siya mo na siya nga ma um, mataas ang uh, performance sa usa ka organization kung walay pag pasakit walay nepotism ay kani siya kay ako ni siyang parente ani ni siya diri dapit kana siya ay adak mo na siya sa kong kontra ay ato ka dito sa unahan do ilayo ni ka og assign og ato kas lisod then kanang muna siya yung subjective managerial practices nga kanina siya kay imo man siyang amigo anak ni Kumare o oh, ani ra kali sa mga sayon sayon ra imong buhaton ikaw kay kung tramanta ato ka dito tukang lisod ato ka tong bugat which is a big no kay maka low na siya og um, performance sa usa ka organization Next is administrative management by Henry Henry Fayol or Fayol. His most influential work was the industrial and general management with the 14 principles of efficient management. And these are the 14 principles. First is division of work. When we say division of work, work specialization can increase efficiency with the same amount of effort. So, atong bahinon ang talarbahoon kung asa siya mo excel, asa siya perte ato siya dito i butang. Kay the more nga mas knowledgeable sa iyang nga gitrabaho, the more siya nga epektibo mo trabaho. Next is authority and responsibility. Authority includes the right to command and power to require obedience. One cannot have the authority without the responsibility. So when we say na atay authority na atay katungod nga mag command or muhatag tao command sa isa ka tao of course we are also responsible of our action then that authority should command oh, I'm sorry there kanang na atay otoridad nga muhatag og command of course, dapat magay na to ang obedience o ang pagtoo, pagsunod sa atong kauban. Because if you just have that authority, then dili ka i-obey sa imong kauban, then that is very useless. Then, if you are authorized to do, or if you are authorized to have such command, then you are also responsible o unsa man kahay outcome anang imuhang gibuhat. Next is discipline. Discipline is very necessary for an organization. Then, to function effectively. However, the state of disciplinary process depends upon the quality of its leader. Diba? Kay, if you are a good leader, then you should also know how to follow the rules of the rules of your organization. Let's take for example, um, ibutang na to, binaka lower level sa atong barangay. Kung naaman kahay impose nga mga bagong ordinansa, makita na to nga 
ay ang anak ni Kapitan ay si Kunsihal ng pabuyag. Wala man lagi mo to, anak mo to, baka hata. Diba, Dili? Basta kay makita na to, nga, ang disiplina man God, magsugod magunas at ang kaugalingon. So kung, for example, makita na to nga, ay silang kapitan, ay silang konsihal, nituog yun sila sa ilang kiset nga ordinansa. Naas sila makita na to ang ilang disiplina, dili lang kay nila, kung dili sa ilang tibuok banay. Amuana, kita nga, uh, sila gani musunod, gali sila nga naas sila dias katungganan. So kita po, kita ang mga lumulupyo, kita ang mga membro sa organisasyon. At itong mga lideris, makita na itong disiplinado, of course, kita disiplinado po. Okay? Napamudiha, kay murag hilog naman. Alamang. Yeah. Ah, okay, let's continue. Next is unity of command. Employees should receive orders from one superior only. This is very important. Kina abe kabantay mo usay anang naamoy mga kauban nga best in both both. Kabantay mo na ay inun ana bisag sa kanang gaskwila pa bitaw ta. Kato sa panahon ng estudyante pa tanga na ay mga best in both both nga ala kay magbuot pud siya ang iya. Dapat si iya hapong kaugalingong balaod nga si leader dili gika ni leader. Ariara gud pud nato na siya nya magbuot-buot siya. For us nga kita isip member isip usa ka organization dapat we should take we should receive order from one superior only nasab tan this is unity of direction there should be one manager and one plan for group activities that have the same objective So, aw, um, dili man good pod mag-ingon nga, kani siya, munit sa siya atong giset nga target for this month. So, na ay plano, usaka plano ang ato ang grupo, na usaka plano ang atong organization. So, dapat, muna siya ato ang i-work out, muna siya ato ang ah, buhaton para ma-reach na ito atong goal sa Usaka bulan ma-reach na to atong target with the proper guidance of our manager. Kay dili kay money siya ron. Pagka ugma, lain na po. Then, inguna po siya. Mauna po ko nun eh. At the end of the month, wala good tayo mabuhat. Wala tayo mahimo. Wala tayo outcome. Kay daghang gabuot. Daghang plano dili na siya mo na siya giingon na 1 plus 1 may mo na siya 0 walay makita nga outcome walay makita nga output next is subordination of individual interest to general interest the interest of one employee or group of employees should not take precedence over those of the organization as a whole. So, guys, in one organization, usually, na adjud tayo, if we are in one organization, we have that one common interest. Or, if we are in the organization, na adjud tayo, because we believe in that organization's interest. Pero, pero if ang usa ka empleyado na asya lahi lahi ang iyang interes lahi ang iyang interes sa iyang pag-appeal sa organization dili gud na siya ma human dili gud na niya ma-achieve ang iyang gusto nga ganahan ug dapat ang imuha nga kung lahi ka o interes kaysa kadaghanan, dili ko na mo ma-achieve ang imuhang gusto. 
dili ka pwede nga imuhang interes imong ipamugos sa kadaghanan kay lahi man ka og interes sa ilaha dili magid ka mahimo nga effective ana next is the remuneration of personnel means the compensation should be fair to both employee and employer dili kay kanang if as an employer I'm oh, sorry as an employee it should be na binipisyo ka nga employer na binipisyo po ang imuha nga empleyado kita kay naghatag ta og services sa ato ang uh, organization or sa ato ang company then the company will also give our compensation in exchange of our services nga gibuhat sa ato ang organization dili siya pwede nga ikaw employee na kabinepisyo ka pero wala mabinepisyo ang imo nga employer vice versa di pod pwede nga ang usa ka employer na kabinepisyo pero wala o wala ma binepisyo ang iyaha nga employee it should be in a mutual relationship dili tong relationship nga kuan na amoy, you are both naka benepisyo na amoy mutualism ug sa science panasya next is the centralization centralization is the proper amount of the proper amount of centralization depends on the situation the objective is to pursue the optimum utilization of the capabilities of personnel next scalar chain the hierarchy of authority is the order of ranks from highest to lowest levels of the organization besides this vertical communication should also be encouraged as long as the managers is in the chain are kept informed so na gihapon na shy kana tong giingon niya we should take orders from one superior or gikan sa kinatasan like for example ang ato ang na ay orders gikan ni president then or kisa ni manager ba dayon i direkta sa ato ang supervisor then nato Napa. Then, um, naragyud tayo bali ng pasunod. Walay kuan, walay pwede nga mo overlap sa ato ang supervisor, ato ang immediate supervisor. Walay kauban. Or, for example, ana siya. Kung kita, ibutang na to, kami kauban mini Renel. Kauban mini Re Renel. Renel, sorry. Kauban mini Renel kami ni Jewel, kami, kami tulok kauban mi, ang amo ang manager or amo ang direct supervisor kay si Laika siya, so ang amo ang orders will be taking orders from Laika, then if silang Nino, silang Jessmark, silang Joan lahi sila, oh, lahi po sila nga team, so they are also taking orders from their immediate supervisor then in that order kika sila immediate supervisor or among immediate supervisor they're also taking order sa ilha pong senior or kisa may in higher rank nila next is order order are the materials and human resources should be in right place and in the right time individuals should be in jobs or positions that suit them so when we say in order bali kung when um ibutang na to ang ato ang papers or ato ang mga kuan kisabay kuan by the way kisabay na naanay work dere or nagtrabaho karon ako ma'am sa man si Isparsha kisa pa nang nang 
and na yung mga nanarbaho while waiting ni board exam. Si Rinel ka ba? Kisa pa ilain. Ikaw, Jo, wala na ka na yung trabaho, Jo? Trabaho ko sa amok, ma'am. Hmm, yung hmm. trabaho. Kisa pa may laing na yung eh, trabaho ka ron. Prag wala man yung... Okay. Oh, ma'am, working so, student. Oh, wow. In the self-support, kudos, laban. Next is... Yes, salut ko ano mga estudyante nga naningkamot para makahuman og eskwela. Big salut ko anang mga self-support students like you. Um, when we say balik tas balik tas ko nga resources should be in the right place and at the right time. An individual should be in jobs or positions that suit them. So, sa ako nang gisuriya ganina, nga, ang usa ka tao, mo perform dyan na siya, oh, every person performs well if he is well versed o iyahang expertise ang iyahang nga position na gitrabahuan. Diba? Ang pwede ang nurse nga imo na siyang pabalansihon dito sa bangko. Wala pa na siya eh. Dili man na niya forte. Dili man na siya, dili na siya pwede mag-accounting. Si nurse, gawas og na siya accounting background. But being nurse, at to ni mo na ibutag bangko, dili ko na siya mo perform dito. Maglisod pag yun na siya. He may be, or she may be learn the job, but kinahanglan pa nga, it will take time. Unlike, if si accountant, ibutang ni mong bangko, of course, good, good iyang performance dito, kay dito man na siya, soup man na niya dito, or iya mag yun ang job, iya mag yun ang forte, iya man ang expertise. Asa man si nurse? So si nurse, ibutang siya ni mo dito sa hospital, ibutang siya ni mo sa clinic, ato na siya dito, partner ba na sila ni doctor. Next is equity. Employees should be treated with kindness and justice. An effective organization, guys, dilip man dyan siya necessary nga dagko kayo ang swildo, but also, ang, ang swildo, mag, magkuhan ko na siya, mag mag matter yun na siya but dili yun na siya mo'y una mag matter yun na na o giunsa kapag treat sa imuhang superior giunsa kapag treat sa imuhang organization usually mang good for example kaya na nakatry mo good ko work o oh, call center bisag unsa pa kada ko ang swilto pero ang imuhang superior Talk, ang inyong working community toxic ang inyong working environment toxic ang imuhang leader toxic ang ibang immediate supervisor dili yun ka magdugay but if you work in an organization even though dili yun dako ka ayo ang sweldo but there is that kindness Healthy ang inyuhang working environment. Healthy ang imong relationship sa imong kauban nga trabahante, sa imuhang nga boss, sa imuhang nga immediate supervisor. You will stay. Mo stay good ka diha. Mo na yun asay mag matter. Usa na siya na mag matter. Effective po ang usaka organization if healthy ang working environment sa mga tao. Next is the stability of personal tenure. Kene. An employment needs to adjust a new job and reach a point of satisfactory performance. High turnover should be avoided. So, an employee needs to time to adjust to a new job. Yes, diligent necessary nga. Bisang tuod o sinati na kayo ni 
mo na nga trabaho ah. Still, kung bago ka, need you ka nga mag-adjust. Mag-adjust ka sa imuhang working environment and mag-adjust ka sa imuhang mga kauban. Even, isa pa o oh, anad na kayo ka anad lili madud ka necessary nga first day ni mo wala din kang ah okay okay na ko ani kanang naka-adjust na ko dayon na jud kay gitawag og adjustment period pero dili pot ingon nga 5 years na kanimo trabaho ga adjust ra Japan ka di na gyud asa poy di that is another story so ibutang na to black like, nag-adjust ka for a month okay Ano ba mga kunasas? Hina pa mga kunasas. Dili pa dyan kaayo um, satisfactory ang ihang performance kay na pa siya sa ihang adjustment period. Wala po ng uban. Dapat na siya sa ihang adjustment period. Pero may una po ka nga, five years na siya na na pa siya sa ihang adjustment period ay dili na siya pwede. Wala, inanana na yung problema ng empleyaduhan na. Okay? So next is the initiative. The ability, the ability to conceive and execute plan should be encouraged and developed throughout the levels of the organization. So, kita criminology mo na jud tayo. I use your initiative. So, mo na jud tayo kasagaran. Isigira gud tag kadungog ana from first year pata hantud na tanah fourth year. Mo na gud nga kanang di pa jud kay ah taga tag ko an like na tay talar bahon. Nya. Na tay unang na like Dili mo work siya sa imuhang the way nga ganahan ka. Then mo nang ino na you will use your initiative o kung saan mo mag, kung saan mo mga innovations nga buhaton nga, mo work ang imuhang plan. Mo work ang imuhang galamon na para mahumani mo siya, ma-achieve ni mo ang imuhang ganahan, ma-achieve ni mo ang imuhang target. Okay? Next, your esprit de corps or your unity is strength. So, mo na tong salan tong salan kito nga basketball team ka tong strength in numbers. Salan kito siya nga boys hilig mo mo basket. Golden State mo. Oh, Golden State yung mana den sila nga sa to strength in numbers daw. But Masyagayin on unity is strength. Every organization, every organization, guys, once you are united, then, usgan yun mo, basko yun mo. Harmony and, tem and teamwork are essentials to an effective organization. Kung kita unify or bali, we work as a team, So, muna siya giingon niya. Ang acronym daw, our team stands for Together, everyone achieves more. Kung kita daw magtabangay, mas daghan taog ma-achieve. Okay? The next is the human relations approach. Okay, arita ni Elton Mayo. These are the Hawthorne study. The results of the Hawthorne experiment contradicted that the traditional views of management was emphasized by the classical theorists and led to the behavioral approach, emphasizing concerns for the work, the workers. The study suggests that special attention is paid to employees by management. Productivity is likely to increase regardless of changes in working conditions. So, lahi po ang ka Elton nga ni Jud Og when we say the study suggests that When special attention, so dapat need good siya o attention para sa imo mga empleyado. And, 
when you are having that balik na kay imugo na siya nga sa Tagalog ka ng pinagtuunan ng pansin then productivity were um, likely to increase so dapat mag-focus daw ka imong i-focus ang um, imong employees kung mag-focus ka sa ilang pag-manage pag-manage ni mo nila nga ma-pursue ni mo ang para ma-pursue nila ang inyong nga target then it would likely nga maka produce ka o um, maka produce ka o um, productivity is uh, productivity kay ma-increase sorry bahala na daw o mag-usob-usob ang working condition that is what Elton Mayo said then this is when we when we talk about behavioral science approach, kinsa manang na asa picture, kinsa mani silang duha, okay? Any idea o kinsa na silang duha, guys? Kailan mo o kinsa na silang duha? Abisa kanira si kanira siya kani. Kani ra kani kani la Kinsa may nakailaan na niya any idea o kinsa na siya Like ka uh, idea any idea Joan she well atong pakupa ni atong mga nailhan dire Rinel and Saga any idea of who is the person on the first picture walay idea okay so sige the first first sige sige wala sa kailakin sa kuno na so the first person in the first this person in the first picture he is Abraham Maslow mm. kailan na ta? gulay na kailang Abraham Maslow na to dere ilom kayo ano ba ni Yan naman ang nangatol naman na kuwan. Veles? So, any idea of who is Abraham Maslow? Okay, love, kailangan ako. Wala mo kailang Abraham Maslow. Okay, Joan Brakel. Abraham Maslow, murag na discuss mo na ako ninyo ni sa una. Limot mo? Nanti ako. Like the address. American Physiologist, ma'am. Lakay ka, nahan ko nito bag dyan si Saga. Okay. Abraham Maslow is the one kahinomdo mo ato na ay mga hierarchy of needs. Wala gihapon. Okay, pada yun tas unahan. Abraham Maslow is um, he proposed yung katong katubang mga biological needs, physiological needs, nalimot na maguna sa tuwang kuwain. Okay, pada yun tas unahan. The second picture is with Douglas MacGregor. Douglas MacGregor is the one who is um, is the one who is responsible for the MacGregor's theory X and Y. Theory X assumes that people have little ambition, dislike work, and must be coerced in order to perform satisfactorily. According to the theory X, that ang tao daw mapa raog ambition or gamay raog ambition. 
and sometimes some of us dislike work and must be also kinangalan pa daw pang pogson para mo perform to mo na ya kinalan kag pugson og patuon pugson ka og pabuhat para lang mo perform ka or mas satisfy ang imuhang organization or mas satisfy ang imong nga leader tinuod ba then for theory why theory why assumes that people do not inherently or dislike work and if properly rewarded especially satisfying esteem and self actualization needs well perform well and the job so ana siya ang iya nga theory x ni ingon pa nga need ka nga ogson whereas theory y assumes that kung ang tawo daw hataga ni mo or reward properly compensated then ma perform siya sa iyang job and ma accomplish ang iya or perform his job well So, to na mo. Na, asa man ang mas lami tuhuan? Ang theory X or ang Y? Ang Y mo. Ang. Kahit properly compensated. So, kato si Abraham Maslow po. Katong natay mga needs. What are our needs? Guys, usap mo yung mga needs. Guys, any idea? Food? Unsa pa? Shelter. Yes, food. Shelter. Muna siya yung nasa Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. That we need first is our physiological needs. That physiological needs means our food, our water, warmth, and rest. Mauna siya atong pinaka basic nga kinahanglan for us to survive. Second is our safety needs. Looking at the pyramid, this is the mugo na siya, pinaka-ubos, pinaka-base. Next is our safety needs. Safety needs is our security and our safety. The security of our body, security of employment, security of resources, security of our family and our health and our property next is our ang next ana kay katong unsa man atong esteem ato ang social needs pari ay social needs or ato ang love and belongingness ato ang friendship na igamahal na to ato ang pamilya og ang unsa pa ato ang sexual intimacy mm -hmm. we will not discuss on that dili na next is our esteem self esteem ato ang self confidence ato ang achievement then respect of others and respect by the others kinahanglan gihapon nato na isip tabo then sa pagkakaroon i know that on your level still you are in um perso pagyud nga wala gyud mo nga kinahanglan gyud akong mapasar ang board need nako nga ma 
ma-achieve yun ako ni nga ko for the reason nga para na ako ikapakita nga at least bisag unsa ko ko bisag unsa ko ka kulisaw sa uang life I have that achievement na agud ko ikapanghinambo de ba I know that most of you man napagyut nga kwan I I I am on this stage nga kwan kanang low pa kayo ang imong self esteem kay pali di ba jud kali kaya nang kanang mali iton bitaw ta kay wala pa tay na human wa pa ta pasar og board wa pa tay ka pang hinambog wala wala kit nya kwan kanang kinahanglan kang maning kamot so okay para ma Pasa na to ang board padayot ta self actualization. Self actualization includes your morality, your creativity, your problem solving skills, and acceptance of the fact. Okay, now we will continue. Contemporary approaches. Contemporary approaches. First is the system theory. Under this approach, under this theory, this theory simply means that all parts of a system are interrelated and interdependent to form the whole. A system is composed of elements and/or subsystems that are related and dependent upon one another. These subsystems are in interaction with one another. They form in a unitary whole. The system rules, my good guys, moming yung tanga in ana. They are in. They are related from one another. Na asay sistema. Then um, mana say nga. A system is composed of elements. Daghang elemento, na mga elemento, nga makakumplito sa usa ka system, nga mahimo kang tibuok. Next is the contingency theory. This approaches recognize that many external and internal environmental variables affect organizational behavior. In this case, there is no best way of structuring and managing diverse types of organizations. So the underlying theme of this year is that all depends on a particular situation. The task of managers then is to determine which situations and what times certain methods or techniques are the most effective. In this way, the approach is more pragmatic, although it encompasses relevant concepts of both classical and behavioral theories. So, ang atu ako nong na behavior or the way an organization behaves still depends on some internal and environmental. Variables. The theory C and quality management. Important. Um, according to this theory, important emerging perspectives include the theory C and quality management focus in Japanese management practices. The emergence of theory. When we said a customer-oriented approach, an emphasis on both human resources and quantitative methods, in an attempt to strive towards continuous environment. So customer-oriented. So dapat an organization is um more on kung unsay demand ihatag ang demand sa customer and then as well as the human resources or ang workforce niya na daghan o methods or daghang pamaagi nga ma-improve or strive to improve your organization next is the motivation theory so muna ni akong giingon ganina nga 
Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory. According to this theory, nga muna to siya nga kung i-discuss, nga you need food, water, warmth, and rest, security, and safety as part of your basic needs. For your psychological needs, you need um, the belongingness and love. This includes your intimate relationship, your friends, your family, then your esteem needs. This includes prestige and your accomplishment or your achievements in life. Next is your self-actualization. Self-actualization or your self-fulfillment needs includes your achievements, achieving one's full, full potential, including creative, your creative activities. Next is the Aldefer's ERG theory. This theory, so according to according to Al Defer, that the need of your existence, your existing needs are the desire for physiological and material well-being. Your physical and your material needs. Diba na amang yun We have those material needs yun. Especially, bro, di naman siguro babayi, bro, lang, apil po ng mga lalaki, ana, nga nagyut tayo mga material nga panginahanglan. Diba? Then, um, next is the relatedness needs or your desires for satisfying interpersonal relationship and your social interactions. So, if you are satisfied nga, naana ko'y kuan, naana ko, I have these materials, nakuha na ako kung mga material nga panginahanglan. You are satisfied na unang mangita na ka o imuhang relationship, karelasyon, or Imuang social interaction with other people. But if failed ang imuhang interaction, imuhang social relatedness, failed ang imuhang relasyon, makahuna-huna ka, asa man ko nagkulang. Asa ko dapit kulang. So, then, you will take back. Imong i-check. O, oh, O balik ka, kung saan ako kinanglan, nagkulang ba ko sa material nga panginahanglan? Na ba siya mga material nga kikinahanglan nga wala na ko mahatag? So, ingon anak na siya. Then, but if healthy ang relasyon, healthy ang imang social interaction, so mo nang muad to na ka sa imuhang self-actualization or imuhang nga self-esteem, the desires for continued personal growth and development. So, muna, kung sa may kasagaran sa mga personal growth, kung sa may kasagaran like criminology ta, o ganatang mo, mo venture na po, ay ginahan ko muskwila, o kung ginahan ko nga, muskwila na po ko glo, kay okay naman ako mga material na pangahinanglan, okay na po ang ako ang um, mga akong social interactions o akong mga social and other relationships so ako na pong i kuha na po and ako na pong self growth na po ang akong professional growth skwila na sad kuglain and siya but if ang imuhang uh, supposed to be self growth ang imuhang 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 professional growth failed or ma-failed na siya ni mo, imo na pong balikan o asa na po ka dapat nagkulang. See that pink arrow? If
you or if na failed ang imong station project or ang imong self growth target you tend to go back o asa dapat ang imuhang kulang o asa dapat ang imuhang laki kasabdan hello yes ma'am okay Okay. Next is McClellan's acquired needs theory. According to this theory, that motivation. This is the one of your motivation needs theory. Need for achievement. It is the desire to do something to be better or more effective to solve more. Efficiently to solve problems or to master your task. Sige. So, kinahanglan ka nga ma-achieve ni mo ang imuhang gusto. Ma-achieve ni mo. Diba? See that circle? Kani siya? Kani siyang purple? Part of your nga para ka ma-motivate. Need nga ma- Um, you need to do something to be better. You need to do something nga mapakita sa oban nga I am better now. Next is your need for affiliation. When you say need for affiliation, this is the desire to establish and maintain friendly and warm relationship or warm relations with other lahit itong warm nga warm may yun tanga warm relations with others kanang nindot kaog bali you have good um, relationship with your neighbors with your friends and kanang nasa imuang palipot nindot ang imuang relasyon niya dili necessary uyabon ang silingan as long as you have that good relationship with your neighbors with sa imuhang apalibot. Next is the need for power. Need for power means the desire to control others, to influence their behavior and other relation and other or to be just responsible, being responsible. So, now, when we say um, control others, na ajutay time na we tend to control other people. We need to control other people. Na ajutay huna-huna na ana na we tend to take over or we need to like, ato silang i-control. Bali muna tag, kita may magpuot nila. Or, or you're trying to influence others or to influence sa behavior sa ubang tao. Better if good ka nga influence. Then, or just to be trying to be responsible. Then, um, these three needs are required or acquired over the time as a result of life experiences. So as you grow older, as we grow older now, as we grow older, so we tend to um, acquire these um, experiences. Makuan daw nato na people or we are motivated by these needs each of uh, which can be associated with individual work preferences. So, before we will um, proceed to chapter 2, guys, are you still there? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, so na apa? Okay, so na apa? 
ang pangungana ug naminaw ba then let me ask you some random question kung naminaw ba gyud eh imo mo ana na ko dere man pero nara ko dere man ah nara nara okay eh so mangutana ko ug naminaw ba gyud sige okay Asa naman eh. Okay. So, ninyo James Saga, can you explain theory X and Y? James? Okay. Okay. Silent type, dito kayo ni si James. Wala nang left na sila. Mga left na kayo. Hmm. Hmm. James? Pardon me, no? Okay. James, kung sa may, can you explain theories X and Y? X and Y, ma'am? Hmm. Kung sa ma'am, kanay, sure sa motivation of management So, kung sa'yo nakalahi sa X and Y, James? Okay. May go silent na si James. Let's go to Dan Francis Veles. Mr. Veles. Hello, Dan. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so kung sa'yo nakadiprint siya sa theories X and Y? Okay, so let's move on to Joanne. Joanne Brakil. Okay, so guys, I'll be asking random questions in you, ha? Okay, koan ka na to check if you are listening sa ako ang discussion. And then, if you answered correctly, this is for ka na 50 pesos nga load. Ako ma'am, gata ang difference sa X and Y ma'am. Hala, 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 Sige, si Ramirez Ang Kiri X ma'am kay kanang mga tao nga mga kanagaling Dili ganahan mo trabaho, mo trabaho rag, mapugsan sila Kinala nga ay mga mga challenges ba para sila makakuhan yun, makapush hard, makawork sila kailangan nga yung mga consequences ma'am para sila mura sila makontrol gali ma'am ba o dili sila gamitan o kaiso dili po sila mo ginok meron na po ba silang patawa ako lang sa ako lang nasabitan mo ma'am dayan ang sa theory why ma'am kay mga tao nga mga kuan gali ka ng mga murag na sila ambition mamba sa ilang self na maningkamot yun na makamit gali nila ilang ganahang maabot sa ilang life mga kubihan mga nana mga self mga self kuan mamba ka ng self-centered mga nana mamba Okay? At uh, i-monitor po namin yan para po sa inyong kapatid. Uh, sa ilang mga plano, sa ilang kinabuhi, mga ilang aim, na katuod yun sila, ng ilang mabuhat, o maning maposo sila, maning kamot sila. Okay. Sige, gina lang. Mara na, ma'am, basis ang na. Okay. 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 Okay
So, kung isang maridin mo na siya, Neil, unsa mo dito yung kalahian nilang duha? In, in, kung sa maridin nilang duha, unsa yung nakalahi sa X o sa Y? Pag-subscribe, make sure po na pinatingin kayo yung duha. Sa ako, rapong, paan mo ma-observation mo niya, rapong, paan na ni mo ma'am. Kung ang kaning, silbi kaning X and Y, these are the two different kind of people. Mm. Alain lain og mga teorya ba. Mm. So, class C, A and B. Ana kanay class A then kanay class B aw oh, si si X class class B siya kay kuan dili kayo siya ang ana ka ka authentic dali di kay siya ana ka kanang ka porso gali sayang kuan saya say lahang life while si A is kuan si theory Y nakuan yun siya ka ng pulido, solid yun yung kuan, yung kinaadman siya, yung kinabuhi para dyan na yun okay na, gamay na lang kulang, wala na ilain idea anak how about that ka? o sige, Alde ang ex ma'am kay ang tao kay gamay rag ambition ma'am na Logson siya para makatrabaho, ma'am. Para While makatrabaho. Sa While sa way. Kinahanlag, kinahanlag reward para makatrabaho, ma'am. Okay. So, Ilona, please post your number sa chat. And wait after our review. For your reward. Next, we will continue. Next is... Iluna ha, i-post na dito sa chat. Diba naman na chat sa other coin portion sa imuhang uh, meet. I-post lang dito imuhang number. Okay, we will continue. Na naman. Okay, check na ko na ron after discussion. Next is Police Personnel Administration. The operative functions of police personnel. The primary function of personnel department is commonly personnel operative functions. And these are the following fun functions. First is the police personnel planning. This is the study of the labor supply of jobs which are composed with the demands for employees in an organization to determine future personal requirements which either increase or decrease. If there is an expected shortage of personnel, the organization may decide to train and develop present employees, and or to recruit from outside sources. Next is your police recruitment. Police recruitment is the process of encouraging police applicants from outside an organization to seek employment in the organization. Next is police selections or the screening process. This process determines the most qualified police applicant for a given position in the police organization. Number four is the police placement. This is the process of making police officers adjusted and eligible in a new job or working environment. The operative functions of police personnel. This is also part number five. This refers to the method used to improve the attitude, knowledge, and skills or behavior pattern of an employee for adequate performance of a given job. It is day-to-day and a year-round task. Six is the police appraisal or your performance rating soon. 
performance rating is the evaluation of traits, behavior, and effectiveness of a police officer on the job as determined by the work standards. Last is the police compensation. Police compensation is the financial compensation in form of wages of salaries constitute the largest single expenditure of the most organization the police personnel programs and policies dissemination of policies includes police handbooks these handbooks are distributed in all personnel police manual Memorandas and circulars. Memoranda and circulars are another common means of communicating police policies in all offices. Next is the bulletin boards. Meetings or conferences. Meetings or conferences are often held to inform officers about other policies. Police publications. These are the communication um, such importance to attention by management in recent years to meet the needs of communicating with officers. Police organizations have been spending amount of money on publications internal and external. Police recruitment, selection, and placement. Munishai pinaka most exciting part once we have our ganamakapasarta o board or napulcom exam. Kaya na, one take lang, kaya na to na. The general qualification for initial appointment to the police service has been based on the provision of our Republic Act 8551. And it states that no person shall be appointed as uniform member of the PNP unless he or she possesses the following minimum qualification. First, he must be citizen of the Philippines. Next, and must be a person of good moral conduct. So, kabantay galita ng muti, galita o karun, nakaprocess na mo for um, board exam this coming June. Wala pa ma'am. Wala pa. Pero magkasugod naman. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, next is must have passed psychiatric or psychological drug and physical tests to be administered by the PNP or by any government hospital credited by the commission for the purpose of determining physical and mental health. Next is, must possess formal baccalaureate degree from a recognized institution of learning. When we say institution of learning, meaning our school is recognized from the Commission on Higher Education. So, um, kay tanan nga skuilahan, skuilahan siya, but there are some schools nga they are not duly licensed by the Commission on Higher Education. Just like um nagito usaka school nga kanang na kwan sila bitaw kanang controversial kay sila kay ang ilang school or ilang school kay 
ganahan ang ilang mga estudyante kay ganahan na sila nga mo take board exam but about sa PRC they are not allowed to take the they are not allowed to process ang rason kay ilang school daily daw duly recognize or walay license to operate as a school or as an institution nga mo offer of education sa so, summer in Cebu ay nakabasa ko na o kuan namandawi ma something but sa kay na controversial to siya to mga ni Agi nga si Mana kay ang rason dili sila ka take up board kay kuan kanang kuan daw masya o fraud kay but actually nag school na sila dito for 4 years ha pero dili sila kan kay dili daw sila recognize or something yun ana Next is, must be eligible in accordance with the standards set by the Commission. On sa man, ito ang eligibility niya para maka-apply ta. First is our board exam. Dapat makapasar ta o board exam. Second is, makapasar or, or, siya or, um, makapasarta sa exam set by the National Police Commission or the NAPOLCOM. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to talk water. Okay. Okay. To continue, six must not have been dishonorably discharged from military employment or dismissed for cause from any civilian position in the government. For example, um, if nag army ka, nag or you can kasa jail, you can kag bukor, and bi, unya nag awul ka. Dili na ka pwede nga mo apply sa PNP or if you are working in um, government position like nagtabaho ka sa city hall or asa nga mga institution sa gobyerno pero na dismiss ka for some nature kuan kana na dismiss ka so, delete na ka, pwede nga mo apply sa PNP. Next is, must not have been convicted by final judgment of an offense or crime involving moral turpitude. Must be at least 1 meter and 62 centimeters for male and 1 meter and 57 centimeters for female. But, murag sa pagkakaroon, if you are part of, if you are part of katong NCIP, pwede man ka nga ma-wave ang imuha nga height. Next is must not more than uh, more or less than five kilograms from your standard weight corresponding to his height, age, and sex or dili ko kamukwan sa imong BMI. So katong mga tag as nga mga mga blessed char mga unod unuran dapat dili gyud mo labaw ang imuhang BMI dapat proportion gyud ang imuhang sa imuhang height age ug sa imuhang gender ang imuhang gibug aton okay so matingala gyud mo ay hala kay si ma'am kay kuan ka nang 
no, tambok man siya oy pero nakasud na agi po kog kaniwang guys so nakaagi po kog apply wala ra gyud ko na swertean mo nang kay og swerte pa ko wa ko nag discuss dire nya kay di man wala man gimalas mo ko didto dire gyud dagay ko so next is for new applicant must not be less than 21 so dapat 21 ka nga mag-apply not more than 30 years of age except for the last qualification the above enumerated qualification shall be continuing in character and an absence of any of them at any given time will be ground for separation or retirement for service provided provided that PNP members who are already in the service upon the effectivity of this IRR shall be given five years to obtain the minimum educational qualification and one year to satisfy the weight requirement. That the screening procedures, okay? So, mauni siya yung mga mahitabo soon. So, mga few months from now, dali naman ko nang mahuman ng board and human anag na ay kota, go da yun. Sa ha? Screening procedures. When we say preliminary interview, the applicant shall be interviewed personally by the personnel officer if the quali the applicant qualifies with the respect of requirements of citizenship, education, and age. He shall be required to present the following: an information sheet. Um, the copy of his picture, passport size, fingerprint card, properly accomplished, your birth certificate, your Philippine Statistics Authority issued birth certificate, transcript of scholastic records. Guys, always remember that during this time, your grade matters. Kay Quintahon as per chika sa akong mga estudyante nga na nasa serbisyo grade matters gyo daw um, imong classic records o ang imong hanga diploma clearance papers from local police the provincial headquarters municipal court hometown police department and BI or depende o kung sa'yo i-required Then for physical, physical and medical examination. Physical and medical examination. In order to determine whether or not the applicant is in good health, free from any contagious diseases, and physical fit for police service, he shall undergo through a physical and medical examination to be conducted by police health officer. After he qualifies the preliminary interview. Next is your um, your physical and medical examination means your general appearance. I check po dang imang nose, mouth, and teeth. So kung nakin mga daot, daot, hinahinayan na na siya o pa extract. Then, ang imuhang janitas, especially boys, boys, dirijod tawo ng uban, ma, ma, kuan, masangit. Okay, nai uban nga, kuan. For general appearance, guys, 
general appearance the applicant must be free from any mark deformity from all parasite or systematic skin diseases and from evidence of intemperance wait lang and use of stimulants or drugs the body shall be well proportioned of good muscular development and show careful attention of personal cleanliness obesity muscular weakness and poor physique must be rejected girth of abdomen should not be more than the measurement at of chest at rest. So guys, katong na yung mga kuhain, kabantay mga mana sila nga. Bawal ang tato, pero ang ano ang police na yung tato. So, wala naman nagi ang, ang story ya sa mga kaila nga pwede na kuno kang magpatato o na kuno ka servisyo. Pero kung ganaan kuno ka nga musulod sa servisyo, ayaw sa alamang patato. Next is, so mukha itong mga ubis, itong mga nanambok na. So, di na siya pwede. Then, um, nose, mouth, and teeth. Obstruction of free breathing, chronic cataract, or very offensive breath must be rejected. O, kamunay, bahala. O, kung sa'y pasabot ninyo, anak, very offensive breath. Um, the mouth must be free from other deformities in conditions that interfere with distinct speech or that predispose of disease of ear, nose, or throat. There shall be no disease or hypertrophy of tonsil or thyroid enlargement. Teeth must be clean, well cared for, and free from multiple cavities. So, ako ano dili, ako ano mo-qualify kay dagan kaya kong problema. Missing teeth may be supplied by crown or bridge work where sight of teeth makes this impossible. Rubber denture will be accepted. At least 20 natural teeth must be present. Genitals must be free from deformities and from varicose, hydrocell, and enlargement of your testicles, boys. Stricture of urine and retained testicles. Any acute and old venereal disease of this organ must be rejected. Maugyo tawo ni makaluluoy kay kasagaran nga katong na ay mga problema dihas ilalom boys hinahinay na tawag check kaya basig maura na usay maka frustrate na to huwag dili na yata makuhay next is varicose veins these are marked tendencies or their formation must be rejected so wala mandagay tayo mga varicose mga babae wala mandagay ka tong mga mga nang maila diha kung dili maila dili alam ko na kayo Pero kato ng mura og mga mura na bitaw siya og kanang mga wati nga dagko i-reject na gud na Arms, legs, hands and feet must be free from infection of the joint, sprain, stiffness or other conditions such as flat foot, long nails or hammer toes would prevent the proper and easy performance of duty. Then, um, all fingers or first um, index, okay, so index, middle, third, and thumb must be present in entirely and toes must be the same. Eyes, the applicant must be free from color blindness and also to read with each eye separately from standard test type at a distance of 20 feet. Dapat 2020 ang vision. 
and uh, must be rejected 2020 or 2030 in one eye with binocular version of 2030. Respiration must be full, easy, regular. The respiratory murmur must be clear and distinct over the lungs and no diseases of um, no diseases of respiratory organ is present. And in circulation, the action of the heart must be uniform, free and steady its rhythm and the heart from organ changes. Blood pressure, systolic maximum 135. So, dapat ang imo BP kay 135 over 90. Maulag yun na siya. Dili ka pwede mag high blood, high blood. Munang ka ng uban sa una nga. Inig, inig mag, mag medical exam. Nakasulay kung kakong kauban nga. Tapos kay siya BP na nihangyo kung taon siya nga. Ma'am, gikublaan pa man good ko. Pwede ko magpa-BP after 30 minutes. Bukod yung hangyo. But, wala mang good. So, as of now, we are on the same um, profession. We are in the academe. Then, um, pulse pressure must be between 15 to 50. And brain and nervous system must be free from defects. Kidneys. Your kidneys must be healthy and urine normal. Character and background investigation. The next is for your um, character background investigation. The screening committee shall cause confidential investigation of the character from among various ability and disagreeable mannerism. The 
police appointment. Any applicant who meets the general qualification for appointment to police service and who possesses the test required or the screening procedure shall be recommended for initial appointment and shall be classified as follows. First is temporary. If the applicant passes through the waiver program as provided in Republic Act 8551, then next is probationary. If the applicant passes through the regular screening procedures. Third is permanent. If the applicant able to finish the required field training program for permanency. So, mauna siya nga ma Appoint, the appointment in the PNP shall be affected by the following manner. Patrol man or patrol woman to police executive master sergeant shall be appointed by the PNP regional director for regional personnel or by the chief of PNP for national headquarters personnel and attested by the commission of or the civil service commission for police lieutenant and police lieutenant colonel appointed by the chief PNP as recommended by their immediate superiors and attested by the civil service police from police captain to police lieutenant general these are appointed by the president upon the recommendation of the chief PNP with the endorsement of the civil service and commission of appointment then D for the general for police general this is appointed by the president among the most senior officers down to the rank of um, chief superintendent chief superintendent okay so sorry nang naara siya typo ane at um down to rank of chief superintendent supposed to be delete na siya chief superintendent but police brigadier general in the service subject to the confirmation of the commission of appointment provided that the chief PNP shall serve a term of duty not exceeding for four years provided further that in times of war or other national emergencies declared by the Congress the president may extend such tour of duty types of police training program the following are the training programs of the police service First is the basic recruit training, your field training, and your in-service training programs. Department in-service training programs, national and international conventions on policy. For the basic recruit training, the most basic of all police training, it is a prerequisite for permanency of appointment the police or uh, the basic recruit training shall be in accordance with the programs and instruction prescribed by the PPSC and NAPOCOM subject to modification to suit local conditions this course is conducted within not less than six months a training which shall normally consist of 40 hours of scheduled instruction full-time attendance in basic recruit training attendance 
to this type of training in his full-time basis. However, in cases of emergency, recruits may be required to render service upon the recommendation, upon the certification of the RD or the city or the municipal chief of police the necessity of such service so mo na siya rason nga dili ka pwede once you are in training di ka pwede magawas-gawas sa kampo di ka pwede magpauli-pauli sa inyo unless og na ay passes pwede makauli Next is the completion and certification of training. After your basic, well, mas lang a basic, basic training, the RD shall certify the police recruits have completed the training and has satisfied all the requirement for the service. These are the in-service training program. For junior leadership training, this is for patrolman to police staff sergeant. Senior leadership training is for police master sergeant to police executive master sergeant. Police basic course or preparatory for OBC is for senior police officers. Officers basic course is for police lieutenant to police major. Officers Advanced Course or your OAC is for Police Major to Police Colonel. Officer Senior Education Course is for Police Police Nabale. Sorry, this is supposed to be PLC or your Police lieutenant colonel and above the directional directorial staff course is for police major general and above these are the kinds of police promotion first is your regular promotion regular promotion shall be based on the following requirements that an officer has successfully a police officer has successfully passed the corresponding promotional examination given by the NAPOLCOM, passed the bar or corresponding board exam for technical services and other professions, that are C, satisfactorily completion of appropriate accredited course in the PPSC or equivalent training institution, Pass the psychiatric, psychological, and drug test and clear the People's Law Enforcement Board and Office of the Ombudsman for any complaint against the officer. Second is promotion by virtue of exhibited acts. This is the so-called special promotion. Any uniform member of the PNP who has exhibited acts of conspicuous courage and gallantry and the risk his or her life above beyond the call of duty shall be promoted to next higher rank provided that such acts shall be validated by NAPOCOM based on that based on established criteria. Third is promotion by virtue of position. Any member of the designated to any key position whose rank is lower than which is required for such position shall after six months occupy the same. Be entitled to a promotion as subject to the availability of vacant position provided that the member shall be shall not be reassigned to a position calling for a higher rank until after two years from the date of such promotion. Police salaries, benefits, and privileges. Kanisha, mas lamit ni siyang isgutan. On salary. When we say salary, guys, the salary grade for patrolman basic is salary grade 12. On um, benefits, 
and privileges. You have your incentives and rewards, health and welfare, longevity pay and allowances, retirement benefit monthly. Always remember that once you will retire, ang inyong akwan is one step higher. Um, permanent physical disability pay, if ever, um, na, aka, na disclose siya ka during your tour of duty. Your early retirement benefit. Then, police inspection. These are the types of inspection. Authoritative inspection shall be conducted by the head of subordinate units on a regular basis. Staff inspection. Staff inspection is conducted by the staff for and in behalf of the chief DNP or superior officers in command of various units or department. Nature of police inspection. Internal affairs inspection. This embraces administration, training, operation, intelligence, investigation, morale, and discipline, as well as the financial condition of the police organization. External affairs. It embraces the community relationship of organization, the crime and by situation of the locality and the prevailing public opinion concerning the integrity and reputation of the personnel. The authority to inspect. In PNP, the following are authorized to conduct inspection. First is NAPOLCOM and its representative. Second, the PNP chief or his designated representative. Third, the PNP director for personnel or his duly authorized representative. Fourth is the PNP regional director or his duly authorized representative. And five, your city or municipal chief or his representative the internal affairs service and the internal affairs service as well police disciplinary mechanism um, administrative disciplinary powers of the local chief executive the city and municipal mayor shall have the power to impose, after due notice and summary hearings, disciplinary penalties and for minor offenses committed by the PNP assigned on the respective jurisdiction. For um, the, your People's Law Enforcement Board or PLEB is the central receiving entity for any citizen's complaint against PNP members. As such, every citizen's complaint regarding of the impossible penalty for the offense alleged shall be filed with PLEB or city or municipality where the offense was allegedly committed. Next is administrative offenses that may be imposed against a PNP member. The following are offenses or offense which a member of PNP may be charged administratively. First is the neglect, neglect of duty or non-feasance. It is the omission or refusal without sufficient excuse to perform an act or duty which it was 
the peace officer's legal obligation to perform. It implies a duty as well as it breach and thus can never be found in the absence of duty. So, may yun matanga. Ang mga police, even though they are not wearing their uniform, nga 24 hours yun ay lahang duty. Na mag-iuban nga police, nga mubalibad, kay, dilip niya na manghilabot, kay, wala meroy duty. But, as according to most of my friends, even though kuhain ka ng of duty sila, or they're not wearing their uniform, but still, sa ila ko nung sinumpaan, they are 24 hours public servant. Irregularities in the performance of duty. It is the improper performance of some act which might be lawfully be done. Next is um, misconduct or, ma or malfeasance. It is doing either through ignorance or inattention or malice of which the officer had no legal right to do at all. As where he acts without any authority whatsoever ever or exceeds ignores or abuses his power ang pinaka example ani nga murajog na question ang tipok organization sa PNP was um, what got police officer did nga katong ihang giposil tong mag mag ina moto siya moral naka create good o havoc or na create yun siya og kaguliang tungod anang ang policeman good muna siya gingon um hate hate the person not the organization kani man ang tibok police mo ina mo sale it is only one person or one person and ka ang nakasalap Next is incompetency. It is the manifest to lack of adequate ability and fitness for the satisfactory of performance of police duty. I'm <coughs> sorry. This has reference to any physical, moral, or intellectual quality, the lack of which substantial incapacitates one to perform the duties of a peace officer. Mahimo na siyang incompetent member sa organization. Five is oppression. It imports your act of cruelty, severity, and lawful extraction, domination, or excessive use of authority. The exercise of unlawful powers to other means in depriving an individual of his liberty or property against his will is generally an act of oppression. Six is dishonesty. This is the concealment or distortion of truth in a matter of fact relevant to one's police office or connected with the performance of his duties. 7. Disloyalty to the government. Disloyalty to the government. This consists of abandonment or renunciation of one's loyalty to the government of the Philippines or advocating to overthrow of the government. Next is a violation of law. This presupposes conviction in court of any crime or offenses penalized under the revised penal code or any law or any special law or ordinance. Police records management. 
guys, are you still there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma oh, good. Okay, na pa. Okay pa. Alert pa. Police Records Management. Okay, so this is the brief history of our filing records and storage. First is the spindle file. Makita na to ni siya usually kanang asa mag kuanin na ka kanang magbayad pito tao kuan kanang ambot ka ha pero diri sa no rekuan kung magbayad may kuryente before kay i kanang na siya ingon ani bitaw nga mura siya bakal din imurang i butang dito imuhang resibo then pao na kuna siya pasunuron kay para tawagon og bayad Kabantay mo na nga nasa picture Muna siya example of spindle filing Next is Pigeonhole file Pigeonhole file A person who dislikes spin folded or roll their papers Wrote names or subject of outside And placed the roll in holes In roll top desk Or in separate series of separate box like opening cabinet so as you can see in this picture guys mura siya og balay og salapati nga dagan kayo siya bangag bangag um kisa na ka kita og kanang sorting area og LBC bitaw in ana ang sorting mag sort og padala ang LBC nga by area area nga naay box ni pamutang Next is your bellow file. Bellow files are used as sorters. It appeared about 1860 or 1800s. Each lettered compartment, the alphabetic bellow file is sometimes used as sorters. So, tanawa sa left side sa inyong screen. Mona siya good example of bellow file. Wala may kakita mo. Ha? Wala na. Wala na share screen. Wala na. My God, I'm so sorry. Na cancel, na cancel. Wait lang. Sorry, guys. Masa na mga dapit. Okay, na kaalde. So, ako siyang balik ko and pa... Wait lang ha. So, balikan na to. So, monetize, pindle file. Na, kita na. Magkita ra. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next is Munisher Pigeon Hole. Then Bellow File. Kanisha na sa yung left side. Then next is your Shannon File or Shannon Filing Cabinet. Shannon File was originated in 1880 in response to a need of greater security of papers. The Shannon file is consisted of a double side opening arc mounted in board with a drawer front on the end. So, inana siya po man ng Shannon file. Next is your vertical file. So, usually, muna yun niya itong makita ka ron sa itong offices, sa din's office, or asa ta makakita? Kaning mga vertical filing papers was in Probability, uh, probability first suggested by Dr. Nathaniel S. Rosene. Rosene. 
the Secretary of Charity of Organization Society of Buffalo, New York. So, man siya tong ato ang gitawag ron og steel filing cabinet. Classification of records. Um, first is our external communication. External communications are written communication between organizations, between customers, between clients, and between other organizations, between buyer and supplier, and between the organizations and other branches of the government. Then next is our internal communication. Examples of our internal communications are communications between, in between an organization. Dili siya pwede sa gawas or kanarag yung sa suludra sa organization. These example, examples such as payroll, records, bulletins, and other organization regulations. Internal communications category are plans for future productions or services and records of equipment and assist owned. The record cycle. We say the record cycle. A uh, record may differ from each other in construction or content, but each follows a common cycle or path through its life. This refer the lifespan of a record from creation to final disposition is called the record cycle. Whether you are considering a simple one copy, payroll check, a complex 10 copy report, or a recorded cassette tape, the record cycle is often referred to as birth through death cycle. First is the creation of your record. Second is the classification. It will classify whether it is an external communication or an internal communication. Third is the storage. Imuha siyang store or imu siyang tapigan. Fourth is retrieval. Kaya kinanglanon siya imu na po siyang bulungon. Fifth is purging or retention. Imu siyang i-retain or imong ipabilin. Six, if there is a need of transfer, imo siya nga i-balhin. And last is your archival storage or disposition. Kunang nahatay archive. And muna siya nga, depende o kung saan imo siya, hipusan ba siya or na may uban. There are some files nga i- kanabitang i- need nga i-destroy or katong ato sa paper shredder or document shredder padulong. So that consists your birth through that cycle of a record. Terminology of storage. The filing terminology may be confusing to someone who is not familiar with it. Understanding the naming of records control and being able to analyze the various system of storage available required knowledge and terms of use. First is filing. Filing is the actual placement of materials in storage container, generally a folder, according to a plan. It includes a process of classifying, coding, arranging, and storage systematically so that they may be located quietly when needed. Same lang po na siya sa kung sa ato ang laptop or sa ato ang flash drive na atay mga folder na ingalan. For example, kanang kanis siya nga file, this is intended for ani nga subject. O kanis siya file niya sa CDI 9. Kani siya, intended siya, siya, intended siya para sa confess, para sa English. So, yun na siyang i-label. Bulahan, nakikinalan, ay nakikinalan nga file para sa CDI. Okay, so, ato ko sa CDI nga, file mangita. Next is, filing manual. A filing manual, 
A filing manual is an instructional book containing detailed information about various phases of filing records management, including rules for the procedures used, illustration of those procedures, and examples of clerical details, such as folder labeling, typing style, and materials used. These are usually included in the manual. Next is the procedure. Procedures are a series of steps for orderly arrangement of records which includes alphabet, geographic, numeric, subject, or chronologic. When we say alphabet, muna tong A, B, C, D, E. Geographic, depende kung like Ano siya, folder ni siya, spais, folder ni siya, tumagete, ano. Then, numeric, your numeric is 1, 2, 3, 4. Or subject or chronologic, your first, second, or third. Depende na siya kung sala ni mo siya pag bahi. System. The word system is used in record storage means any plan of filing device by a filing equipment manufacturer. System has a broader meaning in management circles. Classifying. Mentally determining the name of the subject or number of which a specific record is to be filed is classifying. So, wala siya, i-mo siya i-classify na kay mga kuhan. For example, nakakuha ka o gaghan nga mga klase nga documents. Pag lantan mo sa documents, ah, kani siya, kuhan ni siya, kanang internal communication eh. Diri ni internal na may butang mga paper. Kani siya for external, kuhan mo ni siya, ah, ano ni siya dali nga folder. Then, under na po sa mong internal Ah, kanil siya mga payroll. Aray na ko siya sa mga payroll ibutang. Ayan. Next is indexing. This is other methods of classifying. Coding. Making an identifying mark on item to be stored to indicate that classification is being filed is called coding. Na magoy uban. Kana pong, for example, good ka yung example ani. Kay ka nang mo apply ta o like black like XPNP ang code ana ang mag ang coding ana niya or something identifying mark niya for example negros oriental applicant ang inyong folder kay blue si city applicant ang inyong folder puti si kihor applicant ang inyong folder kay red and so on and so forth so muna siya coding na ay code ba for example tanan nga blue ah Negros Oriental, kuning aplikante ha. Tanan nga pula, si Kihor aplikante, kuning siya tanan. So, muna siya hinayin kung ana. Eight is unit. The names, initials, or words used in determining the alphabet order or field of materials are called unit. Raquel, okay. Pinaka-example lang ni Joanne. For example, has three units. Brown is the first, Joanne is the second, and C is the third. So, Brown kay iyahang last name, Joanne is the given name, and C for the initial. So, muna siya na siya three units. Cross-reference. Cross-reference is annotation put into file to indicate that a record not record do not store in that file but in a file specified on a cross-reference. Cross-reference is somewhat like a directional sign. It tells the filer to or searcher where to find the needed material. Then is guide guide or the dividers in filing and equipment are called guides because in formation of them serve as guide to the eye of filing and locating stored items a primary guide introduces a special section that falls within the alphabetic range of the primary guide it follows such as 
as a section devoted to special subject applications. Pinaka best yung example makikita mo ani ka ng sa registrar's office. Like for example, kani siya nga for example, kani siya nga steel cabinet this is intended for BS criminology. BS criminology pat active inactive ilalom kay graduate. Active katong mga nang enroll karon. So, pag nang-enroll ka na, na yung mga guided to. Kani siya, letter A. Kani, letter B, nga mga apelido, letter C. Then, pag abot na po sa inactive, ka mga nangundang, wala pa kabalik ug skwila, alphabetical po to siya, A, B, C. Then, for the graduates, same. Naagya po yung guide nga, kani siya, muna siya ni graduate, muna yung last name. Muna siya last name in Anna. So, kana siya po, muna po na ako nakita sa registrar, dire sa kuang uh, gitrabahuan, sa nurse. So, muna siya ako na-observe kanang ilahang guide sa ilahang uh, kuan, kanang filing. 11 is folder. The folder in which paper or materials are kept in a filing cabinet, that is called our folder. Popular materials used in making folders are our manila paper, craft, plastic, and press board. Pero kasagaran sa among school, sa kuna basihan, uh, we our school records are kept in a plastic folder. Para makinaun sa watakablo sa panahon, the documents are intact and then dili po siya dali dali nga ma basa. Function and uses of records. First is, it measures efficiency. It presents the community's crime picture. This is the function and uses of a police records. Third is, assist in assigning and promoting personnel. Identify individuals. Provide spaces for property accountability. It controls investigation. It can make information available to the public. Then, um, it, it increases efficiency in traffic control. It assists courts and prosecutors. It assists in evaluating control services. So guys, kada kasulay kali mo o ka ng simbako o ka na pang naamoy nadunggan nga ka ng mga nailad, nabudol-budol kapantay mo, ano nga mupablatter da yun, ato da yun ta sa police, da yun sir, ka ng, ng nailad bitaw ko ani, mo ni mo ni describe, da yun hatagan kag series of pictures nga ma'am dili po ni siya mao, di ni mao ka na, 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 na makita din to bang kadi bali the department then it furnished data for the budget it established responsibility it reveal a new small problems and it aids the apprehension of criminals. It assists the other police agencies. It provides the basis for compilation of police statistics, effective employment personnel and equipment, future references and basis of action. And these are the incidents to be recorded. Incidents to be recorded First is the violation of laws and ordinances. Second, all calls in which any members of the police force dispatch or take actions or take official actions. All legal papers handled such as warrant of arrest, subpoenas, summonses, citations, and the like. Cases of missing and found persons, animal, and properties. 
accidents to which require police actions. All personal injuries, bodies found, and suicides. Any damage to properties. All cases in which police officer is involved. All arrests made. Miscellaneous cases, general and special orders, and all other incidents that needs to be recorded. These are the mechanics of a good report. A good report should represent a chronological sequence of events. Guys, have you tried writing um, an incident report or a police report? Kasulay mo sulap, Ana? Hello? Ato, ma'am? Nakasulay mo sulat o um, police report? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, di ba, dapat ang ato ang yung ibutang dito nga dapat in chronological sequence of event. Di ba? kung musul mo mo sulata for example masulaton ta og mga inana nga wala gyud ka nga pag abot nako didto nakita nako nga daghang tawo pag sulod nako didto naa di ay patayng tawo dili kay mo anak ang nakakita og patayng tawo pero sa wala pa na iabot ko anang lugar ah pero di ba dapat ang imuhang buhaton kung maghimo ka og report pasunuro nimo ang mga panghitabo asabtan then next it should be type written or computerized then next it should provide complete data of victim or suspect complete data means if the victim or the suspect is identified complete name address birth date date of birth sa victim unsa ay nahita po sa victim or di unsa siya sa suspect kinsa ay suspect taga suspect next is the abbreviation should be avoided except those who are commonly known dili ka pwede nga mag abbreviate og imo imo ra kanang o sa may kasagaran nga kuan kanang abbreviation nga kasagaran na tong gamiton na may uban kod nga mo Okay, ramit ang TY. Okay, thank you, manjud na. Ang may uban nga, magpataka rin bitong abbreviate. Siya mo tanay mga kuwanron, mga bagong tubo, ang mga parihan ninyo. Anang maglibog mo yan ang inyong maglibog mo yan ang inyong abbreviation o sahay. Nga ka ng one time, nipost ko o nipost ko o kuwan. Nipost ko picture na yun comment nga estudyante na ko nga HB tablo po siya ko na akong naon sa may HP ang tood na oh yes it happens good na nag change profile ko then pagka humahan na ay ni comment dito nga ma'am HB ni niana po ko yung ko ala kay dili mo ko high blood actually niana dyan ko alam ma'am dili mo ko high yung ko hala dili mo ko high blood then pagka humahan Ni, ni haha man siya yung kung um, saan na nagibot pa sa bot ani so what I did was gi-screenshot na ko siya o ako ko siyang gipangutahan na o kung saan siya ay sus kay daily man ay siya ay blood pa heart back man di ay siya mante aw oh, naloading ko atong kadagan then ka na pong makakita taong diba na ay gaman sorry or na ay anniversary mo mo post da yun o SS on say SS inko ang SS mong goods amo screenshot mong good o mandahan kay stay strong mo din ang buanga na load tayo yun yung kuwan siya girls moments 
Iwa mo may kabalo nga ang SSDI dili na dayon na screenshot kaysa mo ang panahon og inuntang paliukog SS ani paliukog screenshot kay stay strong naman di ay na aron. Ba? There are some abbreviations nga wala kabalo ang uban. Okay, so we should in writing a report ever there are abbreviation please use the standard abbreviations or start use the correct abbreviation dili tong bugna bugna ana parehan ng SKL what is SKL kapila to kana na loading og sa dia ang SKL kay share ko lang man diay na de ba my god loading si ma'am okay ni kabahin ba na ng ng ni ingon ko ni ni share mo ko nila regarding ano ni ko nga ala kay nindot ko tong ako ang kuan ka ng na ko'y naklasihan kay kahulat ko nila ano na na bibo kayo may ano then muto ni ano po tong usan ako kay estudyante sa akong klase nga o kami po ma'am kay ka ng kuan po may bibo po may kayo SKL kung say SKL Oh, share ko lang, hindi ay na. My God. Loading masyado. Next, continue ta. Happy tali mahuman. Laban lang, guys. A good report should be brief but clear. Brief, dili po itong gitarong na nato o tantong shortcut na wala na itong mga importante nga meaning. Na wala na itong mga importante nga mga importante nga mga um, information that every incident should be written in separate report dili kay mura na siyag libak ba nga magkarambula ang libak supposed to be kung dire gidugma gidugma kreto ng reporta kaning isang report gi kanang gikawatan gikawatan na jud di kay masagol na nagdinunggabay na ang kikawatan. Hindi na na pwede. So, every incident should be written in a separate report. Next is, it should be accurate and state facts, not opinion. State facts, bahala pag di ka ganahan anang fact nga nagaday ni mo. But once it's a fact, mo'y imong isulat. Dili ni mo isulat ang buot-buot o ang opinion sa uban. Always, always, always state the facts. Wala na kay labot anang uban pa unsa pa chikas uban. That's that is not or that's not what happened. O ang imong ibutang ang kana ragyong kamatuuran. Next is it should answer your five Ws and one H. So unsa ang five Ws and one H? What were? What? What were? Why? Who? Who? Why? Who? And then? What were? Why? Who? Ulag usa. Where? Where? When? When? Oh, when? Okay. And anasya so sa inyong report dapat it should answers what happened, where the event happen why it happen who to whom it happen and when it happen and the one age how what is how um, it was committed or how it happens so anasha next these are the types of police records first the police records are classified into following. First is your case record, arrest and booking records, identification records, administrative records, and your miscellaneous records. Under your case records, these are composed of two categories. First is complainant assign or assign 
assignment sheet which reflects all information regarding complaints and reports received by the police from the citizen and other agencies or action initiated by the police second is investigation report this report contains the findings of an action taken by the investigating officer based on increase made by obtaining the available facts of the incident these are the different types of report included under the case records under your complaint assignment sheet this is the foundation of the police record of the police department the desk officer or clerk or telephone operator receiving a call for police assistant accomplishes this one kapantay mo nang manawag mo sa police station mo na dayon nga hello kinsa ni palihog ngalan imong phone number taga asa ka it is because importante na siya nga sa, sa desk officer nga nakadawat sa so, imong tawag may bala nila o kinsay nag-inform nila para po ma-validate upon arrival sa scene if ever there nang nawe crime scene or accident scene each complaint or assignment sheet shall be assigned with a different number there are therefore two numbering system complaint assignment sheet becomes the primary documentary document for analysis of crime occurrences while the investigative report becomes the prime document for that's continuation of investigative process two copies of complaint assignment sheet shall be made for each complaint requiring sheet requiring a sheet report a separate complaint or assignment sheet is required each time for or, or incident report incident reported to the police investigative report investigative report includes case report supplemented or progress report continuation report technical report wanted persons report your daily records of events filing the arrest and booking records arrest report is um, shall be out in full on each person arrested and should be prepared at the time a prisoner is booked information regarding the offender the charges and circumstances of arrest is recorded before the prisoner is locked in jail or released on bond the arresting officer is responsible for the arrest report and its completion second is your booking report booking report is um, the current list of prisoners in custody which will indicate the status of disposition of each it provides information to each division as to the inmate or inmates in jail it facilitates accounting for prisoners at the end of each shift and take control and all times and on which restrictions or privileges are noted the booking sheet shall be jail file for arrest arranged alphabetically and serve as the jail register personal's property receipt these are every uh, every station shall give receipts to a prisoner prisoners property taken from them this receipt is prepared in duplicate every time taken from this from his still prisoners property until shown to the presence of other officer and the prisoner and give prisoner the original receipt so katunang mga um, mga gamit ni, ni ni PDL or the prisoner nga gikuha niya during his arrest like your cell phone ang yang kwarta fingerprint record 
fingerprint record first is criminal fingerprint all person arrested for an offense shall be fingerprinted and identification number shall be assigned to each pres prisoner to identify records relating to him next is civilian fingerprint all person requesting clearance or certificate and other personal identification purposes shall be fingerprinted using the prescribed form when we say your fingerprint a civilian fingerprint kabantay bitaw mo anang makuha taong NBI clearance police clearance mauna siya civilian fingerprint na to pero kung makasala ta kunya maaristo ta e fingerprint ta kwa ang totong fingerprint arrest anang assistant ta o fingerprint technician nga mag kwa na mag nanatay photo op nanatay ngalan o kung sa tuwang sala may mabutang na tanas criminal fingerprint next is alien fingerprint when we say alien fingerprint dili na ka tong alien nga alien ufo alien fingerprint is refer or refers to the finger um, fingerprinting of other persons from other countries aliens requesting clearance certificate for purposes of petition for naturalization change of name oath taking for other personal identification purposes shall be fingerprinted also filing the administrative records you hey guys kapit lang gamay na lang ni number of administrative records are required in the management of department's personnel some of these are informational character designed to aid in assignments promotions and disciplinary actions um, in police stations over 100 men the use of such file is essentially an administ administering personal matter number one um, personal records this kind of rec this kind of administrative record is a file showing the history of each police officer both prior and subsequent to joining the force second is your correspondence file this shall consist of set of records of communications classified and arranged and filed alphabetically by the subject to which they pertain next is memorandas orders policy files and etc they should also be filed as they are made available assignment record assignment record the detective assignment record is desirable for other of the effective function of the detective divisions other division in the force may devise a system of assigning personnel five or other files other police stations shall maintain other administrative records responsive to their needs every police form shall keep and maintain the following miscellaneous records first the registry of aliens within the city or municipality obtained by the immigration and other resources list of firearms holder from the PNP list of incumbent city municipal and barangay officials with their addresses list of labor unions cooperative civic professionals social and religious organizations industrial plants movie houses and the list and description and all army camps and mobilization centers facts about the locality indicating districts barangays sitios road bridge center of population voters and other alike copies of ordinances and penal laws 
and the rooster of AFP resurfaced, showing their current addresses. List of private security agencies, list of parolees, pardoned and released criminals, and their addresses. Property and equipment records, these are the complete inventory of the police station property as well as the cost of maintenance and operation. Such other reports may be required by the proper authorities and those that are necessary in the police force. They shall include the list of the uh, police numbers assigned to individual police personnel for identification purposes. Master name, index file. Every police station shall maintain a master name index for operation. The department shall also index all names, person wanted by other police agencies as listed in circulars or by other notice. Persons placed on probation or parole. On the, on the index card, the following shall be reflected. First is the complaint, case, and or ID number as the case may be. Names, aliases, addresses, gender, race, height, weight, color of the eyes, and hair, date, and place of birth. Next is fingerprint classifications. Brief statement of each incident based on the source document with the following date. Fingerprint taken, course case, case warrant of arrest issued or date alleged information. Contributor of fingerprint or information and local numbers nature of offense or purpose and result of disposition it known if um, if the subject has used two or more names he will be known by the name first used and so far as the particular police station is concerned however both shall be reflected in the index card underlying the first or the original names use. Six, a cross index card shall be prepared for each additional names used without the brief information. And this is um, stolen property index file. Police with less than 200 police force may number guide guards from 00 to 99. Numbered property shall be indexed with by the last two digits of the serial number. When more than one index card filed behind one card, this may be played in a order according to the third digit of the end as follows. So, as you can see on, for example, revolver, revolver 952066, guide card is 66. And um, the number is Munang 952 or motor number 123. Guard Gardnia is 066. Okay. A number property index. Property is not identifiable by manufacturer's serial number is indexed in the number property index by description of articles such as clothing, furniture, footwear, and etc. Should be indicative of general character of the article index. Index card shall be removed from files when the property is recovered and files should be overhauled periodically and certain cards removed. For example, cards over six months old describing perishable goods, those over two years old describing non-perishable food stuff, tobacco, and liquor. And for those over five years old describing wearing apparel, linens, and bedclothes.
is at a complete description should be described in the index card to eliminate the need of search to check the investigative report to obtain complete description. Spot map. The spot map are used to indicate traffic accidents and crime location. The location of crime hazard aid in the direction of enforcement effort. Spot maps may be placed where they will be readily available for consultation. In place of crime index and crimes index, crime index and the location index, spot maps may be maintained by the police station for its use as follows. First, for traffic spot maps. Accident spot map for posting for motor vehicle and pedestrian accident which occur in the area. Crime spot map, a general crime spot map which are posted on the location of murders, rapes, robberies, hold up, carnapping, and other major crimes of locality. Uniform crime, uniform crime reporting or your UCR. Uniform crime reporting shall be established in every station for monthly and annual reports on case handled and person arrested by police station to include cases reported. This report shall follow the prescribed classification of offenses. The monthly statistical report shall include the following. Monthly report for of cases handled by police stations. Supplement on monthly report on cases handled by the police station. Report on male persons arrested as well as the females. Four reports, ab reports above described shall be submitted to the National Police.